what you've seen here is a, a, a natural tree fall. Uh, this is the essence of uh, the dynamics of an Amazonian rainforest. Trees grow, mature, fruit, and die, just like all beings, no? like us. Uh, the interesting part of this dynamic of tree falls is that they <coughs> open up the, the crowns, uh, the canopy. There, as you can see here, there are lots of young trees, young saplings, seedlings, uh, very, some of them very small. And they are all waiting for a chance. And what is the limiting factor? Light. There is plenty of water and there is abundance of, of soil, which are the three things that are necessary for a plant. It's soil, uh, uh, water and light for photosynthesis to happen. And of course, air. No? The, there is a need of, of air. If they were in the moon, uh, it would not work. Um, uh, so, what happens when a, a tree falls is that all these guys who are waiting for their chance, they just go woo. And uh, this is one of the key elements to explain uh, the maintenance of biodiversity in rainforests is the dynamics of tree fall gaps. This is a small tree uh, which opened a little bit of a, of a, of a, a hole in there. Uh, can you imagine this? Just put this back in there. So it was not the little guys here who benefited, but were the medium-sized guys. Don't that particular tree in here, this other one in here, this one was a little bent <coughs> because of probably they were connected through a vine or something. Uh, that one is doing well. So these medium-sized trees like this, with white, they are going to say, yes, we're going to fight for this space. Whereas in that area, what one sees in there is a, is a big hole because it opened completely. So there, the guys who were probably seeds dormant in the soil, they will have a chance to say, well, this is it. And these are secondary species or pioneer species which grow very fast, uh, like cecropias, you know, that grow maybe five meters in one year. Boom, they grow very fast. In Africa, we have uh, several pioneer species. The same goes for, for India and Bangladesh. They are all, all, actually in all forests, we have these fast growing species that depend on, on light and gaps are very important for that. So that is a, a, a small glimpse of a, a, of a dynamics, which occurs roughly every hundred years. So every hundred years, a piece of, uh, of, of the forest is, is open uh, again. Sometimes you have trees that last for centuries, so that piece of, of land is uh, older. But you can imagine a forest as if it was a kaleidoscope. <coughs> You know a kaleidoscope? That you look at it and it changes uh, the design. And each of change of this design is a, is a tree which is falling and creating different environments. So the, the essence of the explanation of biodiversity is that trees which are very similar can coexist because there is a lottery that they will not compete one against the other always. Because in this particular case, you know, these, uh, these trees here uh, were in the same uh, gap. But in, in another tree fall gap, there will be other trees. So there is a, a lot of uh, lottery, a lot of chance, a lot of chaos in, in, in the system. So that's one of the uh, ways of explaining biodiversity. But let, I'll turn it over to, to Tom. Uh, if we could have the, the microphone there. Uh, to collect uh, Tom's perspective on, on biodiversity and tree fall gaps and maybe talk a little bit about, about birds as well since you're a bird guy. Mm -hmm.